I can see what's happening. What? And they don't have a clue. Who? They'll fall in love, and here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. Who? The sweet <laughs> caress of twilight. There's magic everywhere. They'll probably copyright it. Bastard. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions to Idiots of Corbin. I'm Timon! And he falls on Instagram, Instagram Twitter for more juicy content. It's so Drink it! Juicy. Bang, drink oh, it! That's what juicy content looks like. I wish you were Nathan Lane. It'd be way cooler. It's true. <laughs> uh, today we're doing a movie review of the Hindi English. Uh, I guess it would be a Hinglish film. Uh, more so uh, than anything, Monsoon Wedding from 2001. A space Odyssey. Yes. Uh, a stressed father, a bride-to-be with a secret, a smitten event planned, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and relatives from around the world create much ado about the preparations of an arranged marriage in India. Mm. Directed by Mira Nair. Uh, right, that's how you pronounce it. Yes. Um, who we know from Namesake. Yep. Uh, who we saw, like that film. Uh, uh, yeah, and then it's starring a whole bunch of people that we love. Yep. Uh, Nasruddin Shah. Sh uh, Sh Shaifali Shah, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Vijay Raz, Tilotama, Sharma, and then a whole bunch of other people. Yeah. But those are the Big ones that, that we know and we love. Yes. 100% uh, of the Frozen Review came out 20 years ago. Uh, oh, 2001 was 20 years ago? <laughs> My son's knocking on the window and he has a helmet wow. on. <laughs> he sure does he just got a helmet because he has one of those balance bikes yeah um anyways but yeah 100 fit soil review 20 years ago i'm sure you've all seen it i know it's crazy right anyways but uh so if you haven't watched it go watch it come back and uh prepare to be spoiled yeah rick your initial thoughts please uh i liked it mm -hmm. uh, i didn't love it but there was way more to like than not um gotcha and I, I'm gonna make. I'm, I'm assuming if I if if this came if this is coming first, then you know one of the reviews that's coming. Should I mention it? Nah. Okay. Because I don't know. All right. Sometimes it's there's a movie you can reference like well, a, a milf a film. Okay, so um, I can't. It's this one. Um, you can just go ahead. That's fine. The uh, this does things I wish that other film did. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll say that. Gotcha. But you don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Anyways. Um, uh, but I, I enjoyed it as well. I actually, I thought it was a really good film. I enjoyed it more than Namesake, just because you know the problems I had with Namesake. Wow. Um, well, because I told you, do you remember Namesake? I said the second half after Irfan. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. I just didn't it, realize it, it didn't turn out to be a bad film mm. after that part yeah, to I me. I disagree. I like Yeah. Film. This I enjoyed way more. It has problems, and we'll get into that. Uh, <laughs> but... I enjoyed this film uh, quite a bit. Uh, I enjoyed a bunch of the performances, especially by the people that we already yeah, loved. <laughs> the, 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 the ones that we know and have seen, and not just because we're familiar with them, but because we they, knew the moment we saw them, they can act. Oh, they can, and they, they, and they did. They, and they did. Uh, they so, my favorite parts of the film. So we'll, we'll get into that, but yeah, uh, I think we both enjoyed the film. Oh, I That's figured out how I can do it. Here's okay. how I can do it without getting the other one away. Mm -hmm. I mentioned this in the review, so when you see the review where I mentioned this, because I've never mentioned it before until the review I'm referring to, <laughs> I can make a comparison of the two. We'll see when they come out. Correct. I, in this other review... Hey, Tron, you know what we're doing. Uh, yeah, in this other review, I mentioned in good writing, the difference between bad writing and good writing is that in, in, in bad writing or weak writing, the story is propelled by and then, mm -hmm. versus therefore because. Whereas something happens that shifts the, the momentum into something. There was far more therefore because yeah. in this, as well as, well, now if you know what I'm referring to film-wise, I felt like the characters in this, which is a, a tribute to the writing as well as the acting, I felt like the characters were believable, well-rounded human beings who had something invested in every situation. I believed this was a real family. Yeah. And I felt like there were a lot of things at stake for yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and so it, it carried me through, and we made this reference in this other film in uh, a similar way, but this had a little bit more thespianetic chutzpah yeah. and it, than it, it, Deborah. A much deeper, uh, yeah, important Exactly. Yeah. Th this one had 
Whereas I made this reference in that other review about Deborah and how the characters went on a journey and you went with them and you were, you were invested and it resolved some lessons for them. This did that as well, but it had, it had some deeper stuff. Yeah. Especially because of the, the main thing, which we'll talk about in a second. Yeah. So we'll talk about the acting first. Yeah. This film just made me love the four actors that I already loved even more. Yep. Uh, like, and we'll, we'll get into each of them, but I want to get into specifically the people that should have their own film. Yeah. It's VJ Ross and Tilo Tama. Tilo Tama. They, they, they need to have a romantic comedy right now. The minute, <laughs> the minute I was done watching it, because Indrani's seen it, she was going to watch it with me, but she was tired yeah. and sleeping. Yeah, yeah. And she asked me what I thought of it. And I, I told her and I said, <laughs> but for me, my favorite story, the thing that I felt invested in and actually got an emotional response to was VJ Raz and, and Tilo Tama. Oh, man. And it was great. Obviously, Obviously, this this has been on our radar. This film since a long time. Deli Belly, because right, because if you've seen that review, we raved about VJ Ross and how how incredible he was in that role. And so people are like you got to see Monsoon Wedding. And so yeah. this has been on our radar for a long, long time. I can see why because yeah. one completely different character. Yeah, even the way he held his voice template was much higher, and I didn't expect the story. No, at not the beginning. at all. And so I was like, oh, we're gonna get some funny VJ Ross. I, I thought he was gonna be the comic relief. Yeah, and he was for, for a while. He was popping flowers, which <laughs> yep. there were some shots that the director did so well. Like, it would just, there would be something happening, and then it would just pop to VJ Ross. Flowers covered, popping. <laughs> that <laughs> I was agree. hilarious. But, uh, yeah. He, he started off this like, yeah. <laughs> like the guy who wants you, he wanted Nasserian to think he was really responsible when he really wasn't responsible yeah. and really did think that there was just going to be this comic relief and grading relationship kind of between the two of them. And then Tilotama came into the, the equation and she, just like in Sir, and I, so I want to see, I want to see everything she's done. She's Me too. such a talented actor and she carries this innocence mm -hmm. about her, at least in these two roles. Um, that it's it's almost a very similar role. I was going to say, honestly. it was like a younger version of the same yeah. character. Um, but she cares just innocence, and so you just care for her immediately, immediately upon seeing her. She has great eyes. Yeah. And then what VJ Ross did, they they almost did like, what's that film where he, he comes in with the uh, Love Actually or something like They come in with the, like the, um, the writing on the the billboards. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen Love but Actually, it, but I think but that But when VJ Ross came in at the end with the heart... <laughs> I was like, this is adorable. And exactly. When I saw him do that, well, first he came in with the heart, and then when I saw he had that whole thing <laughs> set up for her, mm -hmm. I, I was a dork. I literally went, oh. And then that beautiful wedding that was going on alongside the bigger wedding at the end. So I thought the writing of them, and obviously their acting, I love them. I think yeah. they're so, so phenomenal. And Agreed. They could have a film... Just the two of them as a romantic comedy, oh, and I would love, love it. That. I would love it immensely. Uh, but the other two that were extremely also impressive, of course, were Miss Aridin Shaw, which he's so believable. He's so good. That that moment at the end, when once again, spoiler review. If yeah, you haven't seen it, you seen go it. watch it. Um, but because <laughs> it took you on a journey, mm -hmm. because obviously his character is very complex. Yes. He's kind of an asshole to the gay kid. Right. Uh, and he, he was kind of uh, an asshole to his wife for a while. <laughs> I do love... It made me laugh that every time he called him idiot. Yeah. I just every Even when he's saying goodnight. Goodnight, idiot. Everything yeah. is idiot. So anyway. Um, but he's a very complex character. He had a complex relationship with his wife. Yeah. But there was a bunch of moments that I thought were extremely beautiful and only a, a really skilled actor could have pulled off. I like Nasserid and Shaw. One, that moment... Obviously, after he figured out the whole situation with uh, mm -hmm. Shaif, uh, which we'll get into, but that moment with his wife. Mm -hmm. One, <laughs> I was weirded out for a second because I thought they were about to have sex, and I was like, that's a weird thing to get turned on by. <laughs> <laughs> but they, obviously, that's not where it went. But it, so it turned out to be a very sweet moment because yeah. they, they, like, they have been like a strange, it seemed like, probably for a while. You know, you know what it reminded me of? It's a completely different scene, but it reminded me of the emotional vulnerability that Swastika gave to us in Pato yeah, Balk. Absolutely. A similar kind of scene. Yeah. yeah. And then, obviously, that moment when he actually told the guy off. Yeah. To, to get Because, obviously, my initial reaction is like, why aren't you killing him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Obviously, yes. that's my initial reaction would be to do that if somebody, if I heard, it, it, it doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. And I get the complexity, and obviously that, this character wouldn't have done that. Um, but he wanted to. I could tell. But then you're like, okay, he's still at the wedding. He brought him to the wedding. You, you're like, 
I guess, because, you know, he's paying for it. He's meant a lot to the family. But then he, he, obviously, everybody was, like, acting so, like, put off, obviously, because this guy touches little children and their family. And everybody was trying to act like stuff was normal. And he was like, I can't, I can't do this. And so that whole scene was beautifully done by Miss It was very subtle. I agree. There was no, like, big, over-the-top, like... Uh, explosion, which I'm mm -hmm. sure he wanted to, but you could see that inside of him. Yeah, I would have loved, this is one of the things that we would love to see, like, real behind the scenes stuff, when you're approaching a scene like that. What what were his questions for, with, for uh, the director, Mira. for, uh, Mira. Uh, yeah, for, for Mira, yeah. Uh, for, for uh, Mira Nair, what was the conversation about that? Was that, was it his decision to take it there? Was it her decision when she said, wherever you go with this, I don't want this to get too big. Mm -hmm. I want this to stay contained for whatever reason. Or was it just take it wherever you want to go and that's just where he went for that take and they kept that take. I, that's why I would love to see some behind the scenes. Now, something I do know, um, this is, and I know this from personal stories from Stupid Babies, the sad reality is a situation like this, more common than not, mm -hmm would be the woman being chastised and the little girl being chastised and told to shut up. Oh, they, they versus were. Versus, and, and nothing done to the guy. Yeah. Zero done to the guy. You saw a little bit of that, obviously, when Shaif was first shouting about it and getting, saving the little girl. Yeah. Because um, a bunch of people were like, uh, she's being erratic. She's she's just a non-married woman. Just say, say stuff like this. All this ridiculous stuff. But uh, obviously, Nasser, knowing his 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 daughter, was like, he, he was like, I, I, he was almost in shock. Because he said, one, this is his lifelong best friend who's helped yeah. his family out. But again, again, I know personal stories of, a, of situations just like this, yeah. where the dad and the uncle yeah. were like on the same team and told the women, shut up. That's, that's, I know stories from Stupid Babies where that happens. It's awful. And here, um, I, first of all, I don't want to make a comparison to the U.S. I want to talk about the fact that I felt like that whole storyline hmm. was written and directed Shite? and performed. Shite, yeah, Shite, the, Shite. Whole, the whole uh, um, child rape thing, right? Yeah. How, how soon did you figure out? Pretty quick. Yeah, you could tell immediately. Like, Pretty quick. I was watching it with my wife, and once Shaif Ali Shah, once he came in the room... And Shaif Ali Shah looked at him. Mm -hmm. My wife is like, he's molested her. Oh, I didn't get it that quick. Like, but I got it quick. And it is a, it's a testament to Mirinaire's capacity as a director as well as the writer putting it in the script to not be heavy handed and also not pull back. I felt like they did a really good job of making it. But the, we viewed it the way other family members would view it. And you have an opportunity in that point. You follow your gut and your instinct and recognize that's off and you do something about it or you ignore it. And it's definitely, and he did a great job not judging that character and just making him a villain. You know who he was? Oh yeah. Okay. Right yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we've seen um, him in obviously uh, Kapoor and Sons and the one where the, he flies. Yes. The, the brother flies. Yeah. Uh, I thought he did a, a really nice job of not judging the character mm -hmm. and making him a stereotype. Yeah. And I'd love to get into the mindset of what it would be like because I know what I would have to do. I wouldn't enjoy it one bit to have to play a child molester. Yeah. You know, what you have, where you have to go as a, an actor to not yeah. judge the character, that's yeah. tough. Well done. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and obviously, Shai Felicia, we haven't talked about her yet, but obviously, you know we love her. She's, a, she's an extremely talented actress. Yep. And she gave a really powerful performance uh, in, this, in this entire film. And as she does, she's a very natural actor. Mm -hmm. And then that, obviously that, that moment when... It finally comes out. Yeah. Obviously, we as an audience has figured out by this point right. what what happened. Right. But she has an outright said it. Yeah. Um, on it, I would have actually liked them to make a bigger deal about it in the uh, in the scene. Like if I was directing it, yeah, I would have let it linger probably a little longer. Mm -hmm. But this was like almost '90s, and so it was sure. I think it was still Which, a groundbreaking film for the time. I, I I'm just personally with stuff like this. I want to make people. Even more uncomfortable. Even more uncomfortable. Like, put it in your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's... I noticed at the beginning of watching it, it said that it was, it was an R film. Did you notice the rating when it popped up right as the film started? They didn't say Marochot a lot, which yeah, is they, great. I guess, I guess, yeah. 
That would give it. No, you know, it would here. Yeah. If you said if you said that a lot in they America, said that a lot in the there, some, there was a, some sex. Hey, there was quite a bit for a, a, a Bollywood film. I don't know if this there was a lot of mouth to mouth kissing. I don't know if it's Bollywood or, or American kind of like. Uh, namesake like namesake because she's she's a very hybrid director oh yeah she we just did the thing uh she she directed the uh queen of katwa oh yeah yeah queen yeah which is so yeah i don't Lupita i'm not Nyong'o sure if this is Yellow. considered bollywood or hollywood i don't know uh but yeah so all those actors i thought did a really good job i thought the score the yeah score was really really was very nice, nice. Uh, the only problem i had with it really was i felt like there were some of the supporting roles that, Absolutely. that i mean it's it's hard to when you're measuring the other actors, yeah, you, you really it's it's very hard to find a full cast that's going to be up to the level of them. It's quite it was quite obvious once yeah. you go from some of these actors and then to probably the main two that are getting married, or the, the Australian and the girl he was having sex with, correct, or whoever else. And it's it's one of those things where um, I. I felt like they gave the best of what they can do, and I don't fault them for that in any way. It's just when you're sharing screen time opposite people like that, if you're not at that level and that caliber, it shows. Yeah. And but it's it's not you know yeah. it didn't it didn't draw me out of the film at all. I thought uh, what's her face the the main one that was getting married. I thought she, of the supporting she did the best in terms of the four I was just talking about. Even oh. though she wasn't she wasn't as strong as as everyone else. But she also has beautiful eyes. Yeah, I was going to say, she's she, she really, really Great pretty. screen presence. Great screen, really pretty face. I wouldn't be surprised if she got better uh, as her career progressed. Yeah, me too. Because I, I think of the ones I was just, uh, the four or five, that were pretty much the ones that were my biggest problem with the film, um, with some of the, those actors. Agreed. She was probably the better, best of those ones. And grew on me. Yeah. Grew on me as the film progressed. Uh, now, and she I, had a good storyline, too. She did, but I, th her, the only problem mm. I had with the script, mm. I only had one problem, and it was, the, it was her storyline. And unless I missed something, I saw no justification whatsoever from her going from, I'm in love with this man, and I'm in an arranged marriage, and the night before my wedding weekend... I'm going to go be in a car with the man that I love and I've decided I'm going to tell the man I'm going to marry that I'm not going to go through with this. And then this guy, after having an anger fit, says, I'm sorry I had a fit. We can work this out. And she goes, okay. I didn't see any struggle, any fight. It was just like she went from, I can't marry you. We'll work it out. Okay, let's get married. And I love you. Let's kiss on the roof. It that might, was the one thing that it, I had a problem it with. It might be something along with the arranged marriage, though, because obviously that's... Even though we understand it, it's still very foreign to us, that, that whole concept, because obviously we we do not grow up with that here. It's, right. not really, it's not really a thing, even though obviously we understand it. We've seen it in and every right. film. It, and so it could just be that. She's like, this is, this is what I need to do now. And it very well may be the fact that what she needed to make the decision was for him to acquiesce to that and say, okay, then we won't go through with it. But the fact that he said, we're going to work this out, put her in the position of recognizing, well, there goes that. I, I don't have any options. So maybe that was the justification. Maybe. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, the, the, yeah, my, those are probably my biggest issues was the, the supporting cast of the film. That's, that's small. Uh, but uh, Vijay's crew was all great. I thought the, oh, all of yeah. them did really well. They did a very good job. Uh, and I thought the... the, um, the whole, all the women the, were the, great. Yeah, the, that whole song The whole song with, thing, with yeah. was great. And then I thought the writing in terms of right when you got into the film, I was like, this is, this is what I imagine an Indian wedding feels like. Mm -hmm. So many people. Yeah. Everywhere. Huge event. You, you can't really... Multiple days. You can't really get in your own space. You can't really uh, be alone. And family issues, like any family. Family right? issues and... This aunt or grandma is putting her two cents on yeah, your Yeah, someone's putting that in and someone's kissing somebody in the back room over there and you're making allegations of that uncle who did something. The, the, the skeletons in the closet are opened up. And it's, again, a real testament to the writing, especially when you consider the runtime on this thing. Mm -hmm. They covered a lot of ground and didn't make it feel forced. About 150, right? Yeah, the, the rhythm of the film maintained itself. Mm -hmm. Everything was believable. Uh, it, it That's probably, for me, the strongest thing about the film was the... To take that story, it's really difficult to take a story that has multiple characters and keep you engaged with every one of those characters, yeah. and then bring it to a conclusion at the end that isn't like unbelievable, where yeah. you just like Hollywoodized it at the end. And they 
Great writing. So you could watch Namesake more than you could watch this? It depends on the mood I'm in. Namesake is heavy, man. Yeah. I could watch, I would probably watch this more. I would watch more. this more. I would watch this which more. Which is why I liked it, because this never had the full on drop off that I felt the Namesake had. But if it was awards, like if we're watching uh, like would, this I, season. I think I would pick this. If we were watching films and it's awards season, we're watching SAG nominated films mm -hmm. and Oscar nominated films, Namesake is that kind of a film for me. It falls into that category. The first of half, yeah. Drama, yeah. First See, half. I didn't dislike the second half. The like second you half was absolutely. I agree. The I second half wasn't as good as the first, but I didn't dislike the second half. Once he, once he was gone, it's just. I know. I can't deal with that. Actor. The taboo was still there. Yeah, but also it was the guy from White Castle. I know. <laughs> you just like him more than I do. Anyways, let us know what you thought about this film. What should be the next Hindi or or film in general? Uh, give us more Nasaruddin. Telotama, Vijay Raz, and uh, Shaif Ali Shah, uh, especially uh, Vijay and Telotama. I feel like they were, uh, I could watch, I could literally, you could cut this film to just their parts and I would probably enjoy Give them it a so film. Give, give them a film. Let them work together. They Maybe they have. Let us know yeah. down below. <laughs>